Okay. Good morning, everybody. Hello, everybody. We are hoping and praying that this one works out much better than the past couple videos we made. You saw in the one video we put up a couple days ago how the sound was absolutely horrible, which was very disappointing um, because I just bought this camera. I, I bought the directional mic and I bought the dead cat that goes on it that's supposed to block that wind. The first video we made with it over at the other site with all the sound of the traffic, it seemed to really cut down on that sound of traffic, but for some reason, past couple videos we made, it did not block out the wind whatsoever, and it was just the sound was just cutting in and out. It was absolutely horrible. Yesterday's video, mm. when I went to edit it, I'm like, this, I can't even post this. It, it was so bad. So, that's why we're filming this one inside, inside. today. <laughs> And I'm still working on learning the settings on this camera and what I'm doing wrong because it's human error that's causing these problems. And I'll get it fixed up and um, it'll be all right. So, with that being said, good things. Yes. <laughs> One thing we talked about uh, in the show that you guys didn't see was what we did on Saturday night, mm -hmm. which was... Gingerbread houses made with Nabisco graham crackers. Yeah, gingerbread yeah. houses. Gingerbread houses. We went over to uh, Kathy's. Kathy's, and who is Kathy? Kathy is my niece and her husband, and uh, they invited us over to make gingerbread houses, and we said yes, absolutely. If you guys saw the pictures um, on the U or on the Facebook page that Nate guys and gals for anybody who doesn't know. Um, you saw there was a long, huge table that had all kinds of, well, the crackers, mm -hmm. and it had all kinds of different foods and candies mm -hmm. and cereal. Yes, and all kinds of stuff to decorate with, um, what would she call that, royal frosting? Yeah, yeah royal, royal frosting, frosting or something like that. That, that she made with uh, confectioner sugar, egg whites, and uh, cream of tartar. And yeah. you beat it for like five minutes and it comes out nice and thick and then you can use it like paste mm -hmm. so that if you wanted to eat that gingerbread house you could. Yeah and over time it got thicker and yes. stickier so mm -hmm. you actually could use that as your glue. mortar, your mm -hmm. glue mm -hmm. in making these houses but we ended up using uh, hot glue <laughs> <laughs> because it was just easier it definitely held the stuff better. Yeah. I made a haunted cemetery with a haunted gingerbread house. There was a pumpkin patch in the back. There was graves out front. The graves I made out of, uh, what was it? Frosted mini wheats. Frosted mini wheats. Um, graham cracker crumbs crumbled up to make all the dirt of the graveyard. Twizzlers you used for that. Yeah, I had Twizzlers to make like the, the walkway. Mm -hmm. And then I had a pumpkin patch in the back which was made with big orange M&Ms. And, uh, and green sprinkles to make the little stems coming out of the top. Mm -hmm. um, I had some, what was it, cotton to make the mm -hmm. ghosts. Don't forget the crooked um, Yeah, the crooked chimney. chimney. It, it was pretty cool. And then you, you really blew me away with yours. <laughs> <laughs> she started out just kind of laying stuff down and putting, you know, like Flooring. making a floor. You put down some uh, graham crackers mm -hmm. and then a little bit of frosting. frosting. And, and we're all kind of like, what is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea either, but. So walk us through your process there, babe. <laughs> so I was thinking, I looked at the um, website for houses and stuff, and I thought I had in mind what I was gonna do, but it, it totally took a different turn. I made like <laughs> a um, stable kind of uh, lean-to thing with um, some, like he said, the flooring, and then I put those a square pretzels all down and then I don't know I put something over that too. yeah you had you had like your floor which was uh, graham crackers mm -hmm. and then you put like piping around it mm -hmm. which which was the uh, the those um, icing yeah, yeah and then you covered that with icing the thicker icing uh -huh. and did. then you put the pretzels on that so you totally covered up your floor yep. and then you just kept building after that and it ended up being like a stable with all these little animals because we had yeah. plastic animals. Yep, yep. And, and there was gumdrops on the roof. Gumdrops on the roof, green and red, right? Green and red? Yeah. yeah. And then um, the roof was a box 
from the uh, honey made graham crackers. Oh and yeah, I had yeah. two sticks holding it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I I oh. cheated too. I used <laughs> knowing how thin the graham crackers were and that they were just going to crumble. Mm -hmm. I used the graham cracker box and I cut it down to the shape I wanted for my house, and then I hot glued the graham crackers onto the box <laughs> to make it look like it was a gingerbread house. So, and then of course there was Paul who had his like eight layer, eight, eight layer uh, gingerbread house, and all all his were legit. To my knowledge, he mm -hmm. didn't cheat at all. Mm -mm. Um, no. That was so amazing. how he was able to get all those stacked one on another without them just crumbling mm. to the ground, I don't know. But mm -hmm. it turned out really good. It did. And Kathy? And Kathy had the, uh, basically uh, your basic gingerbread house mm -hmm. square, um, you know, with the roof. And she had the um, broken up uh, Pop-Tarts, mm -hmm. chocolate Pop-Tarts. It looked like mosaic tile on yeah. her roof. So. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. That was she made the kind that you would really expect there to be um gingerbread men standing out front, Christmas mm. tree and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I mean, it was it was a typical uh gingerbread house, but it looked really really cool. Mm -hmm. yep. So, yeah, so that's what we did yeah, Saturday night. That's what we did Saturday night. And we we've, we've just had a lot of things we're working through here. Um What about we, Saturday day? What did we do that? Then Saturday Saturday day we had the t-shirts printed. Mm -hmm. um, you guys saw the uh, the t-shirt video that I put out. The picture's probably on the Facebook group. And here's the shirts right here. Saturday night snack and a movie. And um, we had those printed up in the daytime. Uh, your son Gene. Mm -hmm. Inked Apparel is his company. That he does um, t-shirt printing. Yeah, so we contacted him and said, Hey, you know, we want to do a run of these t-shirts. Basically because we wanted to have some to wear in the shows to start out the new year. Mm -hmm. And um, they're available on Teespring, but we knew that we wouldn't be able to get them from Teespring quick enough to start the new year. Plus, we don't have enough time left here where we could have them ship. Because mm -hmm. it does take a little bit of time to get them from them. Um, but, yeah, so we got those done. We got a whole box of them. Really excited. We all wore them when we made our gingerbread houses. Mm -hmm. And we got a stack of them here. We're getting ready to send out to my kids and a few other people today. Not to give you guys a pitch, but I'm just saying if you want a t-shirt, they are available on Teespring right now. Um, the link is on the Facebook page. I'll put another link below if you want to get them. Um, Teespring controls the prices of those. They're a little bit pricey. But, uh, but I always go in and I cut it down as far as they will allow me to make them a little bit more affordable for you guys. So, uh, yeah, so those are available if you want to get one. They come in all kinds of different colors. Mm -hmm. You can get hoodies. I think there's even bags available on there, like the tote bags. And there's pillows and, and blankets, throw blankets. The throw blankets are really expensive, though. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. They're like, I think they got them priced at like 45 bucks. So... I didn't even order a blanket for us, so I <laughs> don't blame you if you don't get that, but they are cool. Yeah, they so, are. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, I think, do you want to talk about anything else this morning? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, I think we're going to get on with the day here, get this up quick for you guys, and uh, try our best to keep these coming every day again now. I just have to learn how to use this camera, because that's this what we bought, bought it for, yes. to, uh, to make the morning shows, to have a nice, good camera specifically to make the morning shows with so mm -hmm. all right guys wherever you're waking up whatever time it is make the best of your day do something for somebody else pay it forward and let's, let's make, make this world, world a better, better place. place see you guys tomorrow bye guys <laughs>